Hi everyone, this is an invitation to prepare for Christmas in a countercultural, subversive way by trying to meditate on scriptures, quieting our souls, and growing closer to God, and preparing to welcome Christ into our souls. So uh, this is the second video in this series. Uh, I will share with you my reflections on the scriptures. This time it's going to be a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 8, uh, verses 5 to 11. As I mentioned before, I pray uh, using the method of Lectio Divina, and uh, I'm going to read the Gospel and then I'll share with you uh, my reflections. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter un under my roof. Only say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. And so here is the, the sharing So first of all, I want to share what the method of Lectio Divina is. Uh, the, the main uh, basis of the method is to read the scriptures and to see what resonated with you and then you spend uh, some time uh, with, with that passage, with that word, with that phrase, or with that sentence. So for me, the phrase was Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter un under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. And uh, it reminded me the prayer that there is in Catholic Church and it is uh, said uh, during Mass before Communion. And the prayer is very similar. It's The prayer sounds, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul will be healed. So instead of saying my servant will be healed, the prayer says my soul will be healed. Um, so I, I focused on that phrase, only say the word and my soul will be healed. And I sat with, with that phrase and repeating it sort of like a mantra for about half an hour. And as I was repeating it, what came to my mind is this concept of shadow. So I've been listening to a book by Carl Jung uh, on, on unconscious. And there is this concept of shadow that we each, every human being has their own shadow, sort of all of these unconscious desires and um, tendencies that we do not want to admit that we have in ourselves. And um, uh, one path toward healing is to kind of to try to stop destroying my shadow so to try to accept that i do have a shadow and walk everywhere with that shadow without spending an enormous amount of energy of trying to destroy it or deny that i have it or act as if i do not have it or deny that my shadow pushed me to act in a certain way when it did so instead of doing all of that I accept that I have a shadow and I go everywhere and um, 
my shadow is not me, so it doesn't have to dictate my actions. I am the one who decides who decides what I'm going to do. But at the same time, the shadow is integrated into my soul, so I, I do not repress my desires and tendencies anymore. I admit that I have them. And so this kind of acceptance it requires to admit that I am a sinful person and that I do need healing. And so this is what sort of this repeating this prayer um, helped me to do. So um, just to repeat one more time, only say the word, only say the word and my soul will be healed. So the healing, admitting that my soul needs healing but healing is not necessarily destroying the shadow or the desires because, you know, that we have this or that temptation or this or that desire, that is not sin. But trying to uproot our humanity from ourselves and trying to act as if we do not have a shadow, as if, as if we are in principle not capable of sinning or as, as being self-righteous, that is a problem and that is something that requires healing. So as I finish this reflection, I pray that God provides healing for you, for your soul, for all of the things that your soul needs most. And I ask that you also pray for my soul and for the healing that my soul needs. Glory be to Jesus Christ and uh, I look forward to connecting with, with the people who try to celebrate Christmas or prepare for Christmas in a subversive way together with me. I look forward to connecting with you again. Bye.